Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 14th of 2022, well, it is titled In the Heart of the Heart Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of what we call an emission nebula known by the catalog designation of IC 1805. However, it is also commonly called the Heart Nebula, which may be fitting in terms of Valentine's Day today. And it does have the distinct shape of a human heart there. And of course, the shaping is just random part random parts of the nebula that happen to have something close to that shape. And of course, our eyes tend to put some kind of pattern to those random patterns of gas and dust in the sky and help us to see them in the shape of a heart. Now, this is an emission nebula, which is generally caused by the emission of light from gases. So when gases are excited by hot young stars, they will glow and distinctly we see the red glow of hydrogen here. And hydrogen gas when it is excited will give off a distinct red color that we can see here. And that's very common in an emission nebula, because most of the gas within a nebula and with most things in the universe, most of the material is hydrogen. Hydrogen makes up the vast majority of material in the universe consisting of about 75% of the mass of the entire universe uh, in visible matter and about 90% of the atoms that are present. Now here at the center of the heart nebula, we see what is forming the nebula itself. And that is a cluster of stars that is in the process of forming. And this is the star cluster known as Malat 15. And it is eroding away the material and it is clearing out this uh, nebula. So it is trying to hollow out this heart making it more visible. And the reason we get the different shape, why is it not just a sphere of material, is that certain areas are denser than others and are harder to eat away. So up above where the heart kind of dips down to a point is a denser region of material. And the stars energy is not as easy to eat eat away at those parts. So it makes it harder to eat away at those. Off to the left where everything is open up is a very less dense area and the star's energy is able to easily push through this and push it out to a larger distance. So the shaping is actually formed by the energy from the stars, but the overall shape is determined by the density of the material around it. So as that material is denser, it will kind of point in to the stars with the densest points kind of pointing towards that star cluster. And at the tip of those points, we would see new stars beginning to form. So we see that we see the beginnings of a star cluster. It is an ongoing process and stars are continuing to form in this region to this day. So that was our picture of the day for February 14th of 2022. It was titled in the heart of the heart nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Terminator moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.